my dear brothers and sisters, these 10 days of Dhul Hijjah, they conclude and they end with the best of these days. And so the ninth and the tenth are the best of these ten days. The day of Arafah is the ninth of Dhul Hijjah. And the sun does not rise on any day better than the day of Arafah. Nor does it set on any night better than Laylatul Qadr. And so, just like Ramadan ends with the best of nights, likewise, these days ends with the best of days. The Prophet ﷺ said about the day of Arafah, the ninth of Dhul Hijjah, which insha'Allah Ta'ala will be next Thursday. The Prophet ﷺ said, ما من يوم أكثر من أن يعتق الله فيه من النار من يوم عرفة. That there is no day in which Allah سبحانه وتعالى frees more people from the hellfire than on the day of عرفة. And the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he goes on to say, talking about how he subhanahu wa ta'ala boasts about those who are his obedient slaves on this day. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَيَدْنُوا ثُمَّ يُبَاهِي بِأَهْلِ عَرَفَ الْمَلَائِكَةِ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala draws near. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, just like he draws near and comes to the lower heavens in the last third of every night on the day of Arafah in the last part of this day Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala draws near and then he boasts to the malaika about the people standing on the plains of Arafah and this is why this day is special it is special for those who are standing on the plains of Arafah the Hujjaj. But it is also special for the rest of the Muslims around the world. And that's why the Prophet wasallam he encouraged us to fast on this day. And he wasallam said, Suyamu yawmi arafah ahtasibu ala Allahi an yukaffira as-sanata allati qablah wa as-sanata allati ba'dah. He said that I hope from Allah that fasting on this day on the day of Arafah that it expiates the sins of two years of the sins of the year gone by as well as the sins of the year to come and so do not busy yourself with anything on this day on the day of Arafah besides the ibadah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma, he would encourage the people to remain in the masajid on this day, devouring themselves to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so the day of Arafah is a day not only to be fasting on, but also to be worshipping Allah with as much salah as you can, as much dua as you can. The last part of the day from Asr to Maghrib, seclude yourself and devote yourself to making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a time to be making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just like the people on Hajj during this time from Asr to Maghrib are standing making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also frequent your tongue with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not only on the day of Arafah, but throughout these days. These days are days of dhikr. The Prophet ﷺ said, after talking about how these days are special for performing good deeds, he said, فَأَكْثِرُوا فِيهِنَّ مِنَ التَّهْلِيلِ وَالتَّكْبِيرِ وَالتَّحْمِيدِ So frequently, frequently say, لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ 
frequently say Allahu Akbar, frequently say Alhamdulillah throughout these days. And then on the day of Arafah, starting from Salat al Fajr until the last of the three days of Eid, after every Salah, we should be glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by saying a takbir. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi alhamd. We should be saying this after every Salah, starting from Salat al Fajr on the day of Arafah. But before that, from now until then, we can be saying this frequently wherever we are, not restricted to after or before Salah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from among those who busy themselves and their times in that which is in that which is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during these blessed days, during these virtuous days. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us our sins and to make us from among those who are saved from his punishment.